So we're here at, what's this called again? Charcoal Rick? Yeah. And Kenny is gonna explain to us real quick what's going on here. And no, so we've referred to the entirety of this fire pit as the rig, but these are all water heaters that we've cut the top off of, fill them with our fuel to become charcoal, slap the cap back on, pit's stocked and ready. I'm loading up with the wood because it's got to burn for hours. Most of the time, we would pack the top to keep the airflow down with uh, ash and bay mud, clay, but this type of wood we have in here right now is so dense and rich in oils that it's better to not pack it and let it breathe more and it makes the whole process a lot easier. And yeah, so I wanna get a start on it early in the morning. Normally when you burn a fire, the carbon, the hydrogen, the oxygen, it all goes up in the atmosphere, smoke. When we seal this off, we trap the carbon and that leaves us with car charcoal, uh, which is better for blacksmithing. I think it burns at higher temperature. Higher that, temperature, right? yeah, yeah. It doesn't smoke, it doesn't smell. It's easier to control. Right on. Well, we'll be back to fire it up. The temperatures needed for the blacksmith shop are so extreme, the wood can never do the job alone. Wood burns at 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit, but charcoal burns at 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt iron. The charcoal rick was built by the students using a discarded water heater tank. It makes about two and a half feed stacks of pure charcoal at each firing. The process begins with small chunks of hardwood that are packed tightly together to reduce oxygen. The container is sealed with bay mud and a very hot fire is kindled around the outside. The wood inside gets so hot that it wants to burn, but there's not enough oxygen to aid combustion. Impurities in the wood are liberated and the steam is removed through the small pipe at the bottom. The fire is allowed to go out. The next day, the container is opened and pure charcoal is removed. All right, so here we are back at the charcoal rick. It's all cooled down now, and we're dumping all the new coal that we made. As you can see, it is no longer the, what, what kind of wood is this called again? Brazilian rosewood. Brazilian rosewood. Super it's hard and dense, but it winds up like this. Perfect. Amazing charcoal. Yep. Ready for the blacksmith shop. Cool, thanks Kenny. Thank you.